Hello everyone, welcome to Congolese Music. This is your humble servant, Patient. Uh, it's a privilege to come again today with another tutorial on these things we call seven. I received untold number of messages from all of you guys asking me to do tutorials on things we call seven. And I know a lot of Congolese guitarists really love to play seven. Uh, that is why I have decided to come with this tutorial today. I've got messages here on my phone uh, through our um, Facebook page. You've sent so many messages, I mean, untold number of messages. Uh, I can see here, uh, I've got brother Dadido, Danido sings Zambia. Uh, he's requested this, what did he say? Hello brother, I'm a guitarist from Zambia. I want to learn Sukus guitar on you know we call seven it says i want to learn uh guitar sukus guitar where can i find uh the instructional videos on youtube obviously brother danido this is the right place another brother here is robert kana govire he says something like sir make a video about secret seven on lead guitar this one says i don't speak english very well but i want to tell master i like your performance when you play guitar thank you uh, i am angolan but like rumba seven sukus so if you can do one you'll be very appreciated appreci appreciated that's what he meant i mean i can go as you can see i can go over and over this so many messages of you guys asking me to do tutorials on seven so i thought why not? The tune that played at the beginning of this video uh, is a seven. Now we call it a sukus or seven, whatever you want to call it. But it's a tune that came through an inspiration. I've always have, like I told you, uh, always think of melodies and I try to put them into, you know, appropriate sequences to make them sound music. Um, so that is one of them. Uh, it is a seven that I really like. As you can see, the way I played it on the previous video, on the first short video, compared to how I'm playing it right now, there's a slight difference in the melody, just because the more I play that melody, the more I think of the possibilities or different permutations that I can use in order to embellish the melody. So obviously the first part of that video was only uh, the primitive or the first raw idea of that seven and then as time went by I keep adding more into it maybe in in the future I might be able to play the same melody but differently that's how music is I mean I think of music as as a house obviously you can put a foundation and then one day you come you're like mm, I just want to add a different color here or I want to add this and that by the time you realize it it's now a full compact uh, house where everything is in place the way you want it to be that's how i do my melodies i'll start with an idea every day i try to add one or two things just to make it sound really really beautiful which is the purpose of music anyway enough of talking let's get into the tutorial the melody we play at the beginning is seven it is in the key of g g for golf so g is number one is that is our tonic that is the key in which we'll be playing the song. We know that usually the chords are tonic, number one. We've got the fourth degree, which is C. You have the fifth degree, which is D for delta. So you have G, C, D, C, G. That's what we call delta. If you want to go numbers, it's called one, four, five, four, one. G. C, D, C, G. The melody I'm playing at the beginning is like an introduction to my main chorus. Uh, so that melody starts like this. You have G here, as you can see. Now I'm doing this. So I'm playing with the G string 
and the E. Now I'm doing that. That's what's played on G. Let's see the melody I'm playing on the C chord. So let's play G and C, both of them, to see that melody slowly. Like I said, it's one, four, five, four, one. So G, C, D, C, G. We've played G, we played C. Let's now play D. There's D. I'm trying to break it down slowly, but those movements are happening in a very rapid sequences. Now let me play slowly so you see what I played on the D chord. Now as you can see, that is my C already. But now, let me play that introductory melody from G to C to D and to C. Watch this. So that melody, when I play the second time, I'm trying to vary it. I'm trying to make it sound more higher. I'm playing it going a bit higher. Now watch what I'm talking about by saying I'm going slightly higher. So we start like we start with the first one on G. But on the C chord, we're going slightly higher. Let's try again. As you can see, we have C here. This is your C. E here, E there, they're just octaves. So an octave is playing the same note but with different uh, pitches to them. So I'm playing high and a low note at the same time. So if I'm playing C, I'm playing it on the higher octave and the low octave combining together, that's what we call it, one octave. So let's start slowly, let's play the first part of that melody and then the second part of that introductory melody. Watch this. And then the second one. only my introductory part of the melody after I have played that I'm going on the G on the lower octave and that is where the melody of my seven will remain now watch this I'm playing it slowly so you get everything I am doing we started with this G here now the melody will be based on the G here As you've watched in my previous video, you, the sixth note or chord in the major scale is the minor of the first. So G, if G is the number one, the sixth note in G is E. So on my melody on the lower octave of G, I am playing E as well, the minor. Now watch what I mean. So I'm doing this. I'm basically playing G and E. I'm playing E. Down, stroke and up stroke. So down stroke and up stroke. I'm doing that. That's the melody I'm playing on E. Now, look at the melody I'm playing on C.
dead easy. And then look at the melody I'm playing in D. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling it from C. And then to finish it. So technically that's the entire melody. Let me play that again slowly so you see what I'm talking about. to do now I'm going to play the introductory melody slowly and I'll play the main melody as well slowly so you get the overall understanding of what I was playing There are varieties around what I'm playing, but I'm just trying to make sure I show you at least the overall idea of what I was playing. Sometimes when I'm trying to explain, you can't cover all the melodies that you're playing, but I hope you have an understanding or an idea of what I just played at the beginning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play that melody slightly faster, so at least you have an understanding of the whole melody. melody in the background there was a rhythmic guitar that was playing there just to give me the melody and uh, that rhythm guitar sounds really beautiful as well so this is what I played and I want to show you what I played with the rhythmic guitar with the rhythmic guitar on the introductory part this is what I played really complicated there it's just one simple melody that I wanted to put just underneath when I'm playing that melody so at least it sounds really really beautiful now I'll play it really slowly so you get the idea if you want to play if you want to add that to your repertoire of melodies you can you know play it I mean it's there for you to learn <laughs> so this is my G I'm playing actually with the fourth intervals the C chord here I'm doing this I'm taking this not the third intervals here so let's try that from G to C I 
here I'm just playing with my third intervals on C. Let's try again. This from G, fourth intervals. And then C, third intervals. So between C, D, C, it is just the third intervals that I am using here. And then on my main melody, this melody. When I'm playing that melody, the rhythmic guitar that I thought would be appropriate on that melody was this. Again, still playing with third intervals. This is what I played. So. I'm playing. Third intervals. Now those third intervals, I'm playing them on the E minor and G. So when I'm playing, that's when I'm playing. And then on C, I'm playing something that's a bit outside. I'm adding a seventh or the seventh of G, which sounds a bit outside but beautiful. Watch this. So, so after playing the third intervals, I'm doing this. Now, this is your F. So the F that I'm playing here is a seventh, is a seventh note, but it's a flat seven. It's not the whole seven because the whole seven will make it major seven. So what makes G a major seven is the the sharp the F sharp so F sharp makes G a major seven chord. Now when you remove the seventh and you leave with the flat seven, that's when it becomes a seventh chord, a dominant chord. I mean, I don't want to get into the theory of these. I just want you to have a bit of an understanding of why I'm using the seventh. So the seventh that I'm playing here is technically outside of the major scale of G, but you know how Congolese music is beautiful. We always, we always like to try uh, those trick, you know, to create a bit of tension. Yeah, that's what I just done. So I'm using a seventh note that is not in the major scale of G, but just to create a beautiful tension. Now watch watch this carefully. So like I said on C I'm doing now it's a it's a really good movement. Now let me play that melody slowly of the rhythm and guitar. So at least you understand it step by step. Watch carefully. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play that melody at a pace that I play this so you have the idea as well of the rhythm and guitar. Thank you. 
thank you very much for spending your time to watch uh, this little tutorial um, I hope it has contributed to your understanding of playing guitar I mean those melodies are things that I play uh, but I'm hoping by you learning what I'm playing you it broadens your your view of guitar your understanding of the various uh, permutations or possibilities that you can come up with just by using one four five progression chords um yeah you know you can play you can start thinking about how you can use those the g here you can go to the one here you have another possibility here i mean the possibilities to use uh, different permutations on the guitar like those possibilities are endless i mean endless even myself i only know little like it's like a notion once we dive in it's immeasurable so i hope by me showing you those little tricks that i'm doing when i'm playing my seven does help you understand how you can you know be more creative or add more uh, varieties to your playing again thank you very much for watching i really appreciate you coming uh, to watch this tutorial and i've seen some of you keep sending so many messages and i really appreciate that even though i tend to i tend not to reply to all of them just because there's so many messages uh i, I would try my best to make sure that the ones i can come across the one that i got, got time to reply i will try my best to reply uh like i said i have created um, an instagram page or an instagram account which is still congolese music so go on that page give us a like we still have our facebook page which is still congolese music give us a like uh, if any of that is not available to you, you can still follow me on social media, your humble servant, patient or tupa. So if you just type that name up there, I'll be there. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't omit those tutorials when we release them. I'm looking forward to seeing you on our next tutorial. I don't know what's going to be. Uh, I'll, I'll think about the idea of what we might do next. But for now, I'll leave you, you know, just grab your guitar, put, you know, it, it is a video. You can pause it, you can go back to it, you can rewind it, you can, wear, I mean, it's there for you to practice. There's no shortcut to success if not practice. Practice, practice. How many times? Just keep practicing. Don't just practice random things, but practice things that would strengthen your understanding of the guitar. Practice things that will make you a better guitarists and that's the only advice i can give you um so practice i'm trying to think of the words to put across but yeah practice that is the advice practice well enough of the practice grab a guitar practice <laughs> yeah it was a pleasure to do this today i will catch you on our next tutorial now it is time to say goodbye i hope you have enjoyed the elegance the beauty and the intricacy of our beautiful and Congolese music. He was your humble servant, patient. Au revoir. Bye bye.